Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, spectacularly gorgeous November night here in the end times in paradise. It feels more like the middle of summer. Can't imagine why I am sweating. I have been out hacking the Amazon rainforest that has regrown in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the past six months and it is now uh, it is now a Thursday night I think it's November 18th 2021 on this beautiful night out here uh, at the end of the rutted out dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp doing what I love to do here and you know this is what Lulu loved to do I have to say you know this was one of the I will never, I would never say that, <laughs> that I enjoyed Lulu's company, but uh, at least when she was in front of a fire for a, a few short moments, she seemed like she could, uh, you know, relax and not just be a fucking psycho bitch. She really was a pyromaniac. I mean, she knew how to start a fire. She would, this is what she would be doing if she were here. But it is only the ghost of Lulu here. And that is the uh, outdoor kitchen. And here is my little trailer. So anyway, uh, speaking of the late, great Lulu, uh, <laughs> this is my little bivouac. So, uh, I finally got the, is it the nerve? Uh, somehow I found the wherewithal to, uh, go in the house and look at the, uh, you know, look at the scene where Lulu, uh, stuck that gun in her mouth and uh, took herself out and lying beside the blood-soaked brain-splattered couch I found this book a book of poetry I didn't think of Lulu as being a uh, an appreciator of poetry and this is a book called Sad Birds Still Sing by a poet calling herself or himself far away far away is the uh, and you know it stretches the limits of the word poetry as these little short sayings uh, sad birds still sing is the first book of poetry for from anonymous author far away blah 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 newly designed and with additional content sad birds still sing takes the reader on a journey of discovery with a message of huh, message of huh, message of huh, Hope, a message of hope running on the, good Lord, running on the main artery through its pages. It, it fearlessly dives into the depths of the human condition tackling topics such as new and old love, heartbreak, uh, looks, I can't read that name. You have to be a, uh, you, you have to be all right, good God Almighty. Tackling sub topics such as new and old love, heartbreak, loss, 
anxiety, self-love and dreaming. And uh, I found this book, Sad Birds Still Sing, lying next to the uh, blood-soaked couch. And the, the uh, bookmark was an appointment card for a neurologist, for a neurologist. I'm uh, not sure why Lulu was going to a neurologist. Uh, it was actually scheduled for my birthday, and as I recall, she blew her brains out three days before her neurology apartment. So anyway, you know, these are what they call poems. So this is where Lulu was, I guess. Uh, and sad birds still sing. These are the two poems on the left. If happiness can want, if happiness can wander off, it assuredly can come back home. Oh, and it will. And next to that, which I assume is the very last thing that uh, Lulu that Lulu uh, read before before uh, you know sticking a snub nose thirty eight uh, Saturday night special and blowing you know to the side of her head and blowing her brains out. I think this is probably the last thing that Lulu ever read before uh, taking herself out. So take it away, far away. <clears throat> All of this confusion will make sense someday. Why will become an answered question and the fog that clouds your mind will leave your body with the ease of an exhale. I think the name of that poem was Breathing Again. Breathing Again. Yes, the last words, the fitting parting shot from uh, the late great Lulu. All of this confusion will make sense someday. Why will become an answered question and the fog that clouds your mind will leave your body with the ease of an exhale. I would trade exhale to gunshot. But anyway, the sad bird Lulu will never sing again. And, uh, oh well. R.I.P. Lulu. I've got to get back out to that fire. Make sure I don't burn down my trailer. All you sad birds, get out there and sing while you still can. Bye, guys.